A lengthy investigation into the crash of a robotic plane has officials pointing the finger at exactly who is to blame for why unmanned vehicles are no longer in the sky. It's now six months after the aircraft crashed during a routine test flight at Canadian Forces Base Suffield. The uh, folks who review the air incidents uh, have taken their time. Uh, I've tried to uh, uh, push them forward, but I certainly can't make the decisions on their behalf. All such flights have since been grounded. For those in the industry, they admit it's been a frustrating period. Megat has since had to move its training exercises overseas to Israel and will travel to Australia next month. The moratorium is costing the local economy hundreds of thousands of dollars. For the company, officials say the overseas training has hurt their bottom line and their staff. Some of the employees uh, um, didn't sign up to uh, spend all their time outside of Canada. According to a preliminary report by National Defence, the actual crash was caused because the aircraft was flying at too low of an altitude. Operators were too late to notice and the plane struck a power line. Defence officials tell Chat News the investigation is ongoing and the final report could take 12 to 18 months to be completed. I think it's far too long. We had a CF-18 crash in Lethbridge within days of this incident and they were flying the next day in Lethbridge. Thompson is adamant that our federal MP should shoulder some of the blame, especially considering that Payne sits on the National Defense Committee, the same organization being criticized for the drawn-out investigation. I'm hoping that our MP can, can do something. Uh, I don't know, it's been six months and we haven't heard much. The Conservative government hasn't done anything to keep a huge industry in our city. Payne tells us he isn't feeling any heat over the issue, insisting the bureaucrats in Ottawa are the ones at fault. He expects the investigation to wrap up in the near future. I'm expecting within the next month. For local businesses, they admit the situation could have a lasting impact, as work sent overseas may never return. This official maintains the government should be more supportive of the industry, especially considering much of the technology is used as surveillance equipment for Allied forces in Afghanistan. The service we provide, uh, UAV support, um, helps keep Canadian uh, boys and girls alive. So. Uh, I would hope that, uh, uh, that there's going to be the, the requisite attention to this so that it's expedited. Kyle Bax, Chat News.